Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family, Bitcoin Family Diddy YouTube channel. For the new comments, my name is Diddy, yes, indeed. I got this gift from uh, Mario. He came to the beach, Bam and Beach, and he gave me a cool t shirt with my own logo and Bitcoin and name. I love it. Thank you, Mario, for that present. Uh, now, jumping into a TA video this morning on the 27th of July, almost the end of the month. Let's see what Bitcoin is doing and what I expect Bitcoin to do the next couple of days, weeks, and months. Before I jump into the charts, guys, I want to tell you something else. Um, I am a team leader at Bybit when it comes to the World uh, Series of Trading, the WSOT. And you can join the Bitcoin family team you don't need to do strange stuff you just join by clicking the link down below you join our team and then you can win a lot of prizes the prize pool in total i think is 8 million us dollar i think it's even going to be like rolexes and lambos and all kinds of uh, us dollar theater prizes or udc prizes. i think you can win a lot of stuff if you go and jump to into my team the first 10 people get an extra 10 us dollar bonus and if you sign up in these 72 hours you get another 50 dollar bonus so you will start off with 60 dollar uh, bonus to trade uh, the WSOT. Really cool. Just like playful. It's not like, like something official. It's just like as a team, the Bitcoin family team trying to become the best team when it comes to trading and then perform best. And then we can win as a team and we can win as an individual and we can win as a captain. I can even win a little bit. I don't even want. But it's a cool thing to do for Bybit. So jump in down below to uh, this link and click on it. Join me in the Bitcoin family team. Let's quickly jump into the first chart. Bam. Here, this is the four hour chart, guys. The four hour chart, and uh, as you used, are using the bam bam indicator. Look, one more time for the people. Um, that's the indication we will see along. Here, there's a long flag, but there's a lot of blue and yellow, so we will wait. The blue line needs to be above the white line and down below and we can see that that is happening from there and then we can see also the green appearing and we can also see green triangles which means the candles are above that yellow stepping line so from this moment would be a valid beautiful long over there uh, which wouldn't be that much profit yet like say uh, 0.7 percent we could go all the way to the boundary band top of there 1.2 percent with leverage of course a little bit more but this is a four hour chart just showing you how it is working guys don't freak out but zoom out zoom out for example to the daily chart on this daily chart we can see uh, something really interesting because if you look closely in the daily chart we can see that we broke out of this bull flag in my opinion it's not that valid bull flag anymore you can also see that we are finding support on that green line and that green line is the 50 daily moving average and i told you guys if we would break this we would fall to the green line and if we would break that uh, green line we will fall uh, all the way to that red line uh, possibly and that red line would then be a little bit higher on 27,100 because we can't fall back in time we are cannot fall like this <laughs> that's like almost impossible at the moment but we could go something like that and retest that green line and then come down you know and then uh, something like this so that would be a 28k that is all of the possibility but we will see that in a, a later chart as well on the other hand if we look at this green line and that dotted white line that is forming also a sort of a, a triangle triangle so that means if we would keep bouncing between here and there and there bam that breakout will come probably to the 37k that i was expecting so bitcoin can do multiple moves but if we zoom out a little bit more bam to the weekly and uh, we can see every little thing is gonna be all right because look we have a bottom high higher low higher high higher low higher high this is not yet the higher high i expect but it is a higher high it's like only like 500 dollar higher um, and we are creating a higher low if we stay above this dotted line so let's say we retest the 200 weekly moving average that red line that's a 200 weekly moving which is a very important line you can see over here 200 on the weekly chart uh, in bitcoin history so in bitcoin history it's not bitcoin bitcoin history so we could easily retest that and let's see what level that would be then if we drop one two three four weeks something 27 500 so yes if you remember that line over here coming up and now look at this line over here both around 27 like 200 to 500 
US dollar per Bitcoin. And that wouldn't be any bear market, that wouldn't be bad, that would just be a retest of the 200 weekly moving average that we have been retesting always in history as far as we can go back look over here even in the COVID crash over there you see this one remember that um, black swan event the COVID crash look test test go up go up retest go up okay let's go back any even further we, here's the bear market we go up bam we come retest we go up come back down again so but the red line was a retest so i wouldn't no, why that would not be possible to have a retest now i think it is possible uh, and it is not bad at all it's just creating the structure that we need to create a massive bull run after so don't freak out put your buy orders at those levels and if we hit that when you're sleeping you're buying now if you zoom out a little bit more the monthly then we can see something very important in my honest opinion um, because this monthly chart is showing you the MACD and I'm gonna um, click double click that MACD on the bottom over here now so that will be on the full screen just to show you what I see and that you can see what I see as well look what do I see I see this I see this first green month being built and that first green month being built is an indication of that blue line crossing that red line and that's an indication of the start of the bull market doesn't mean BAM up like this but it means we will go positive again. We are not going to go down lower to 20k or 15k or 10k, what people are expecting. We are going to build. And if we go back to the previous bull run, we can see that as well. Let's say I need to do it like this then. Look, we had that bear market over here. The blue line crossed it. That was in um, 2018. We came down here all the way to the 19 bear market. We came up. It's at the 3 to 14k pump. We came down again continued all the way till here june 2020 and that is when we start to get green again you know and that took one two three four five six seven eight nine ten months to reach that top from that moment but you i believe that we are seeing something like this area over here now in 2023 to 2024 so yes we will go green again and we come a bit down again and then in 2024 after the halving that beautiful bull run will start again. And that's how it works every time. Green to red, green to red to green. Very interesting. And um, we can also see that that orange line is pointing upwards, the blue line is still downwards. So there will be a cross, like we saw the cross over there, here, that cross led into that huge bull run. Also, if we look further back, that cross led into that huge bull run. This is going to cross, but this is a monthly chart, so it's going to take a long time because every candle is a month. Like I said, I expect Bitcoin around halving, around 40k from that moment all the way into September 2025, yeah, between 100 and 170k, something like that. Why? I'm going to show you another chart now that uh, explains a little bit why. Okay, let's quickly jump there over. Where do I need to go now? Here, sorry. <laughs> back this is the first chart this chart i found on twitter this was by titan of crypto really cool chart and um, it's showing you the aso on the, on the on the bottom it's like the average sentiment oscillator um, <clears throat> and it oscillator could has shown you in the past that when the blue line crossed the red line that's the bottom area till the moment the blue line crosses that uh, red line to the upside again so you have this this whole area over here this where you could be buying Bitcoin and that would be always around that bottom area here exactly the same just look to the bottom when they cross it's the bottom area you should be buying Bitcoin because after that it's only going to go up higher now again we had to say look we had to cross and we are going to cross again very soon and when we cross there's a monthly chart so it can one two three months that would be again the perfect moment that you should have been buying Bitcoin. You should, you should be buying before the cross because after the cross we will go up very simplified chart but i really like uh, how it is made up now and um, also a very interesting chart is this one over here this one is showing you that um, if you would have invested in bitcoin a couple of years ago uh, you would have had a cagr of 200 percent or 95 percent or 47 percent if you check from the third halving which is in 2020 to today guys 
So um, this means 47% of return on investment per year in this period. So every year your capital grows with 47%. Here, when I started, every year the capital has been growing with 95%. Now, this could decrease in the next uh, bull run after the fourth halving. Maybe it will only be like 25% every year. But even if the capital grows with 20%, 25% every year, means that the Bitcoin price is going also or about 25% in every year, because else you can't grow your capital like that, um, means 25% every year. Your bank is not giving you even 2% or 3% every year. This is 25%. It is the best period now to get into Bitcoin to still get one or two years of 47% and then maybe a decrease. But even if we decrease, the Bitcoin price will slowly climb up to the beloved 100k that we are all waiting for. And a 100k Bitcoin price, wow, that would be amazing. Is it going to happen in the fourth bit halving or in the fifth halving? Let's keep that in the middle, but it's going to happen somewhere in the future long-term investment zoom out one more chart <coughs> i think it's made by a fellow dutchman mm. or belgium also possible found it also on twitter gert van lagen shout out to gert van lagen uh, really cool chart i've been making this chart also uh, some years ago and i just love the simplicity of these kind of chart i'm too lazy to make these charts myself so that's why i pulled them from twitter and i just want to support other people that are doing their best to uh, TA this um, industry as well, like Bitcoin. Now, this chart is showing you very simple. Look, we always go up and then we come pull back. And then, of course, you get another climb. And that climb that mostly is, if you look at the Fibonacci levels, uh, and it's a calculation of the Fibonacci levels, that we come and the new top will be between 0.618 level and the 0.786 level. And that depends, of course, yes, on that climb and the pullback, and then you calculate where those levels are. So here, the, that happened the same. In 2018 or 17, we had the top. Okay, we pull back, so we can see this is an increase. This is the decrease part. So the new target should be between those levels again, uh, 0 0.618, 0 0.786. And yes, we reached that target again. Now, if we do that again for this market, so um, we had that run, we had a huge pullback and from the bottom again to that Fibonacci uh, levels that would be in here would be here between 104,700 and 176,000 US dollar per Bitcoin that would be the target zone sometimes we come to the top of the target zone sometimes we just reach the bottom of the target zone sometimes we might read the middle of the target zone but that would be the target zone if you believe in Fibonacci. There's a beautiful documentary about Fibonacci guys uh, on Netflix. Watch that and then you start to believe why Fibonacci does matter <clears throat> to everything in life because it's something that's coming back in plants, in trees, and everything else, even in water. Fibonacci. Check it. Beautiful documentary. Now guys, everything for today. Short but powerful. Beautiful charts are short. 12 minutes. Do you like my t-shirt? Do you like that thing from the Bam Bam Beach? I need to hang it up again in the Bam Bam Beach. Let me know down below in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, give it also a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell. Leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? Are you afraid for that Bitcoin is going to crash to 20k? Or are you buying Bitcoin because you are dollar cost averaging? Let me know down below.